Imagine you could ask a bunch of Nobel Prize winners one question. What's the secret to your intelligence? They answer, chocolate. It sounds crazy, but it's not as far from the truth as you might think. Last year, a study found a significant correlation between chocolate consumption per capita and the number of Nobel laureates from various countries. The linear correlation was surprisingly strong. All countries fall nicely around a trend line, except for Alfred Nobel's homeland, Sweden, which has far more Nobel Prize winners per capita given their chocolate consumption. We'd all love to believe that chocolate can boost our intelligence. Well, can it? There is something super inside chocolate, dark chocolate, not milk chocolate, and that's flavanol, a potent antioxidant. So far, flavanols have been shown to lower blood pressure a little by improving the function of the inner lining of the blood vessels, so it's easier for blood to flow through them. Flavanols have also been effective in slowing down or even reversing the reduction in memory and thinking skills that occur with aging. In one study, elderly participants were given two cups of flavanol-rich or flavanol-poor cocoa to drink every day. Well, neither the flavanol-rich or poor cocoa led to any overall effects on patients' cognitive abilities, except for those who already had compromised blood flow and white matter damage to their brains. These people found that blood flow in their brains improved by 8%, and the time it took to complete a working memory test went down from 167 to 116 seconds. Since chocolate only boosted blood flow to the brain and memory skills in those with impairments, the benefits aren't quite applicable to a larger, healthy population. But watch this space. There are still lots of studies being done looking into possible benefits of chocolate consumption, some funded by big confectionery companies. And there's still this correlation between chocolate consumption of a country and the number of Nobel laureates. Of course, correlation does not imply causation. It indicates that either a country's chocolate consumption influences the number of Nobel Prizes won, the number of Nobel Prizes won influences a country's chocolate consumption, or both chocolate and prizes are influenced by a common factor. If you are craving flavanols, chocolate isn't the only or best way to get them. The amount of flavanols in dark chocolate varies a lot depending on the type of cocoa bean, where it's from and how it's manufactured. Sometimes flavanols are even removed from chocolate because of their bitter taste. Tea, grapes and apples are other rich sources of flavanols. Chocolate is, like other things, a sometimes food. If you're new to Braincraft, be sure to subscribe for a new video every other week.